Look, okay, so like I said, I mean, what what what's the best thing that can come out of? From, I mean, what's the best thing that can happen to me? The if best every, thing, if, if the whole truth, if, every y'all get there, if everything comes yeah, out, positive. everything comes out. The absolute best thing is if you, if you were to be cooperative and tell everything, the best thing is they're probably not going to seek the death penalty. Okay. But that's on the table right now. We can't make that deal. Okay, nope. that's up to the state attorney and your attorney. You come wholly clean with them, or wholly clean with us after talking with them. You know they can make those arrangements. I can't do that. Okay. You're looking at some time right now. If you're convicted, you right now the way things stand. So you said okay, right now the way things stand. Charge of first degree murder. If you're convicted of first degree murder, you have two penalties: life or death. Yeah, no. That's it. Okay. I'm not ready. I cannot. He cannot make a deal that takes that off the table. Welcome to ADMC Investigations, the spot for true crime content. If you like consistent weekly videos, consider becoming a subscriber and interrogate that like button if you want to see more. It's free, easy, and it really does help the channel. I want to give a shout out to our members. You all rock. I appreciate the support immensely. We will be putting a lot of extras on Patreon, so if you're into more of a deep dive and want to support the channel at the same time, check out the Patreon. The link is in the description below. Okay, enough rambling, let's get into it. This is the second interrogation of Michael Jackson. It took place in Jacksonville, Florida at the Police Memorial Building on June 6, 2006. Fitting. If you have not seen the other interrogations we have covered in this case up to this point, the playlist is in the description below. On July 8, 2005, 61-year-old Reggie Sumner and his 61-year-old wife Carol Sumner were reported missing from their home. During the course of the investigation, all signs pointed to 23-year-old Tiffany Cole, who was actually a family friend of the Sumners, and the subject of this video, 23-year-old Michael Jackson, 18-year-old Alan Wade, and 18-year-old Bruce Nixon. To avoid spoilers, the description has a lot more information on this case, and stay tuned to the end for the conclusion. This is the interrogation of Michael Jackson, but first, let us have a moment of silence for the victims in this case. DNA test, yeah. One one out, Just one. for you. That's a copy of the, the order for you to hold on to. Okay. Um, that was the first thing that we need to talk to you about, um, and you knew that was coming. The second thing was, got your letter today. Today? Just got it today. They're getting faster. <laughs> uh, last time it took a long time. Um, and the letter, that's your handwriting? Mm -hmm. okay. And dated 5-31-06, right? Yes. Okay. It says you want to talk to me without your attorney. Yeah, because I know I mean, you got to go through all kind of 
craziness to get the lawyer and that take too long. So. But now, nah, um, but before we do that, you know you don't have to speak to me, right? Yeah, of course. Um, and you know that you're waiving your right to have your own attorney by talking with me, right? We've gone over your rights multiple, multiple, multiple times. Do you have any questions about those? Okay. Just want to make sure that's clear before oh, yeah. we get going here. Um, I'm going to leave those in the So what you want to talk about today? Basically, last time I went to court, um, I mean... I don't really know what's going on because, like I said, I ain't got a discovery yet to really know, you know, what's happening. But the last time I went to court, he put in the motion for the bond or whatever. And the judge said something about um to the um, state. He said something about the detective got to file an affidavit or something about if evidence is evident or I don't, you know what I'm talking about? What do you want, a bond hearing? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get. Yeah, ain't going to happen. Why can't I get a bond hearing? Capital murder case in, in Florida, there is no bond. Ain't going to happen. I don't understand, though. It's the rules. No bond. First degree murder. You've been indicted by the grand jury on charges of first degree murder. There is no bond on a first degree murder charge. No possibility of getting out. No possibility of bond whatsoever. Well, sums that up quick. Pretty much you answer that question, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'll be straight up with you. I've been straight with you from the get go. I ain't gonna lie to you. Michael, let me ask you a question. If you got a bond hearing, do you think you can show back up in court? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. It's just like I told my lawyer. It's just like I told my lawyer. My parents said they would come down here and give me an apartment down here, everything, just so I don't go nowhere. So like I can no offense. Right, you're already getting free but, housing. Why? But if I was in your position, let's be honest. Great. If I was in your position, I damn sure wouldn't show back up. Yeah, but I can prove, man. <laughs> you're getting all this, I can prove what crap now. I can prove, I can prove a lot of stuff. I can Let, prove that I ain't kill nobody. Somebody how you going to do that? Because I can, I can do that. I how know can you for prove it? it? Tell me how to prove it. Okay, what do I need to prove it is what I'm saying. Nine out of ten, all I need is an alibi, a creditable witness, definitely that can put me with them on this date said that I'll kill these people. I got you, that. You're watching way too much television, okay? I ain't seen television in a year. Way too much Law and order in there in the, in the cellar or something? No, I mean, this is common sense. Common what sense? My lawyer, this is what the lawyer what, said. What alibi is going to put you there? I got a person. I got a female doctor that can put me with her. I'm not her. Yeah, where, yeah, her. where, where you were, where you were at over there, across the Georgia line behind the fire station, at the house over there. Station. At that house or on Jerry Circle. Oh, you talking about what I told y'all last time? Yeah. Yeah. See, that's why I said, man, it ain't even all about that right now. That's you got a new crazy. alibi now? Because that was your old alibi. No, I still the same thing I told you. Like I said, about so it's the same thing. alibi with the same lady. That's what you're telling me. I got a female doctor that can put me with her. It said in the indictment that, see, I don't really know how, the whole shit was worded funny because it says that, it says the male suspects entered the dwelling and then it says something. It don't never say, like, it don't specify, you know, who, who, and who did what. You know what I'm saying? It just states that, you know what I'm saying, the male suspects entered the house and then it says they were driven. It says I followed, me and Tiffany followed Alan and Bruce in the car to there and it says. You're denying that? Ooh, you done told us that twice already. At least. I told you that once, but that's why I messed up, though. Twice. But see, that's what I'm saying, though. Man, my <laughs> biggest part is, like I said... Your biggest look, part is you made a dumb decision, and here we are. But in the beginning, though, you got to understand where I was coming from. In the beginning, it was like, okay, I'm going to have to do whatever I can to go ahead and, you know, get free. Because I ain't never been in no shit like this. I don't even know what to do right now. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, furthest thing that comes to my mind with past experiences of getting in trouble, go ahead and work with them, tell them what they want to hear, you know what I'm saying? And then, well, you know, I think we told you repeatedly, we didn't want to hear what you thought we wanted to hear. We wanted to hear the truth about what happened, and then you told us stuff, okay? The only problem is, is the stuff you told us, well, it's pretty much the same stuff everybody else told us. So no, we knew we were on the right track there, considering, you know, that, for instance, Bruce was down here talking to us, and you were up there talking to us kind of makes it real hard for you guys to coordinate a whole lot about anything that's going on. You know what I'm saying? So we knew what you were telling us in the beginning was the truth. Okay, now we also know you've had I mean, I've darn near a year to work work your way out, you know, for, for what's going on. No, 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 I'm saying what I told you, I don't deny that, you know what I'm saying? Okay, in the beginning, I told y'all, yeah, I was dead. I said I held a flashlight. Yep. I said, you know what I'm saying, all oh, kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not denying at the, to at the time, okay, that I didn't know what I told you, you know what I'm saying? I'm not denying that. But what I'm what I'm denying, what, what I fucked up is, like I said, I shouldn't have never said I was there, you know what I'm saying? I ain't had nothing to do with killing nobody, you know what I'm saying? I might have known about the shit and all this other shit, but as far as having anything to do with it. Well, tell me I what you know about it, then. It's as simple as that. It's like I said, I knew I knew basically what happened and 
Ain't no basics. Come on, we don't here. deal in this little, you know, something, something, sort of, might have. I mean, you got something to tell me that, that, that you say is going to clear you. Tell me in plain English what you're, trying, what, what you're trying to tell me. Don't beat around the bush and, and hint at different things for me to take six different ways. I mean. But see, you said something that's going to clear me, though. But see, I don't know what it is because, like, my parents, my parents seeking that, my There parents may be seeking nothing that can now. clear you. You know what I'm saying? There may be nothing that can clear you. Because so far, I mean, you, you give me about, you know, 300 different versions of things that happen. So, you know, I, I got to throw out at least 299 of those. Yeah, versions, but at least, okay? yeah, at least give us a hey, I was so in Vegas blocking, that night. I know I'm blocking my own self from, you know, being being accepted here. So, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, you know, I I mean, can't, you, you keep giving me a story, but then you don't give me nothing to back it up. You know what I'm saying? But see, that's the point, though. Like, I mean, if I tell you I'm a police officer, you want to at least see some credentials that says, Damn, he is a police officer. You give me something, but you ain't give me nothing to back it up. And never give me nothing to back it up. What 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 do you need though? That's what I'm saying. What do y'all need? I need you can the say, truth. Tell me this. Tell I need me that the truth. No, I haven't said tell me this. Tell. I need the truth. What did you know? What did you see? What was your role in all this? And don't try to tell me you didn't have no role in this. Okay. Now, now. I'm gonna tell you this though. Like I said, in the murder, I ain't had nothing to do with no murder. Okay. Now, I, I'll say that till the day I die. They did. All three of them had to do with All three the of them. Did. Okay. Just from my understanding, man, all I knew was simple as this, you know what I'm saying? I knew, like I said, it was involved in a lick. It was involved in money. I'm interested, you know what I'm saying? It was simple as that. It came down to money, and then later it came down to, yo, two people died for this shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, shit, what do you mean two people died for this shit? You know what I'm saying? I need to know what's up. I ain't even gonna lie. In the time, okay, I'm thinking, what can I do? You know Tell what me I'm about saying? the lick. Who planned the lick? What do you mean, who planned it? Like, who planned it? I mean, who thought it up? Whose idea was it? How, how did we get into... Alan came to me. Alan came to me with the card. I knew what to do from there. I mean, just because I mean, it's well. I mean, I've had past experience. How did he get a card shit like that? They stole the card. How they know together to steal the card? That was all from Tiffany. No, like I said, that's all from <laughs> Tiffany. Tiffany knew the girl. Tiffany knew these people. She knew these people had money. She the people used to live with her. You know what I'm saying? How long? How long you known Alan? Since 2000, we can we moved here in July. Time. Yeah, I'd say about eight months. Well, we're living in Arlington yeah. near each other? I lived in the club. He lived in Images. Okay. So, I mean, total time. So you've known each other a while? A year. From the time that I met him to the time we got arrested, a year. About a year? Because we moved to Florida in July of 2004. And y'all arrested us in July of 2005. So. Who moved to Florida in 2004? Me and um, Carmen. You and Carmen? Yeah. Okay. Where'd you move from? Charleston. From Charleston. North Charleston or Ladson? I mean, where were you at? No, um... Just shit, uh... Well, most corners, staying on most corners. Yeah, me and her. Well, West Ashley, because I stayed with her. Okay. And then we moved from there to um, Most Corner, and then from Most Corner, that's when I came. That's when we came down to Florida. Okay. We didn't even know where we was gonna live. You and Carmen came down here together. Yeah. We stayed at the airport for like a month, and then we found the apartment in the club, and okay. lived there from there. So you and Carmen come down here, and then you met Alan when you got here. Yeah, I met. No, nah, I met Alan. This it sounds crazy, but I met Alan through ecstasy. You know what I'm saying? Damn, um, like he, the drugs or the club? The drugs or a stripper. Okay, my fault. I should clarify that. No, through, <laughs> through the drugs. But not, um. Through ex- I mean, you're at your the, parties, you're rolling? No, you yeah, that no, way? No, no, you're no, selling? No. You're slinging? Or is he, he slinging? He knew somebody that had the pills. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I knew the same person from being in the strip clubs of Carmen and shit, and we just ended up okay. Oh, I live over here. Yeah, I live over here. Oh, what's up? How you doing? And you're you know, close by, so you just start hanging. Went from there. Okay. Now, you say. The three of them came up with this plot. Now, the three, see, this is all I knew. Like I said, he came to me. He was like, look, okay, I got a lick. You know what I'm saying? He done seen me pull licks. I just hit a lick. You know what I'm saying? All this other shit. He knows I'm good with it. Okay, I got somebody to call instantly. That's the first thing that will go through my mind. I got somebody to call. He calls me. I come down there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, what's come down up? where? To Florida. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I come down here. What's the deal? Man, look, over 100,000 and over 100,000. Supposedly, Tiffany talking about um, the lady said they stole some kind of um condo or some type of fucking townhouse they had for over $99,000 and shit. Okay, my answer is peak. I'm ready to get the money. You know okay. what I'm saying? But I ain't asking. I should have asked questions. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't asking no questions I mean, because in my mind, it's like. You I think you're just going to get some quick money and go. Get the money and okay. ask anything. That's on y'all. How, how do you know Tiffany? I know Tiffany because I robbed Tiffany. That's how I way, way back. You talking about in Charleston? Yeah. No, nah, I met Tiffany in Did, Didn't you tell me before about yeah. taking a cocaine? Yeah, I found a little box that had... I ain't know it was coke in it, man. It just had you coke had in money. it, weed in it, money in it. I just jacked the box. Ooh. But, I mean, that was in Charleston. How yeah. long ago was that in Charleston? May. May? Of this year? No, I this mean, year, last year. Last year, 05. Yeah, because yeah, May... This is what happened. I met Tiffany in May. I came back... I left Florida in um, February the 7th. I, I turned myself back into Berkeley County... 
Um, did three weeks in the tennis center. They reinstated my parole. Um, and released you. Yeah, pretty much. I went from there. Uh, stayed out of trouble. Everything was fine. Till the month of May. I'm at Tiffany. Jacked in the hotel. The next Which month. Which hotel was she in when you did that? <laughs> Shit. The budget in. The little cheap, cheap ass. Where, where at up there? On um, International Boulevard. On International? Yeah, by the airport. You know where the airport is? Yeah. yeah, International. You got on um, Best Western, Travel Lodge, and the um, budget is like the last one back there. Okay. Um, met her in May. Um, let's see. I hit a lick for like probably like fourteen thousand dollars. I ain't hit a lick. The dude gave me the money, but you know what I'm saying. We sort of, I sort of helped him out with some shit. He gave me fourteen thousand dollars. Boom! I called Allen. What Island was down. the deal with that? He just was basically, he scamming somebody and nah, basically, helped him out. Basically, I kind of do. I told the dude I was like, look, you know what I'm saying. I was, I'm saying I know it's bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know it is what it is. I kind of do, and he was like, um, look, I got warrants and say, he's an older dude, he was a retired senior chief and all this shit, but he had problems, you know what I'm saying, he had fucked up. You gonna problems. help him out? Nah, nah, until you got the cash? Nah, I told him, I was like, look, nah, nah, he handed me the money, really? he went his way, I went my way, so technically I didn't steal nothing from him. What, what did he give me the money for? He sold his house, he, he believed, I made him believe that I was a fed, right? And then I got one. <laughs> I know it sounds what, crazy. What'd you tell me? FBI, DEA? Nah, you just you're tell me. You're smart. You're smart. How ironic. They the top bros. They the top same ones. Yeah, they are. But nah, um, he, he thought you were hunting them or they were hunting them and you are going to let them slide if Man, look you at took him. care of them? I got on that computer. I made, I made miracles happen. I'm talking about I created warrants. You know what I'm saying? I found out. What'd you do? Just print them out show them they had shit? Nah, you can go to... um. What's call it the um NCI thing credit card thirty dollars a month, bam you can check on yourself anything like really? that you can get copies it's it's hard to get into it but you know what I'm saying you can get copies you know like you said it'll print out you can get it with a scanner you can create anything how long ago was how long before you met Tiffany did you did you get him I knew him at the same time I, knew, I met him so that in was in May also or April or I knew I met Keith in April yeah I met Keith in April. Got the money June the fourteenth. So in between April and June, June the fourteenth was the last day I seen Keith. So and uh, Tiffany happened in May because that's when we did the um. That's when I went to the hotel because Keith was at the hotel. I made him believe, hey, look, you gotta go away from your house for a little while. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be coming by looking for you and whatnot. He went in the house and I got a bunch of information on him. And that was that, man. He was like, well, look, I'm going back to California. I'm going to sell my house. I was like, okay, well, look, I'm going to do whatever I can to help make the warrants go away. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Shit. I'm, okay, your, your warrants is going away. But, you know, I'm going to charge you. I ain't even come out of with no, give me $14,000. You know did. what I'm saying? i like, look, it's going to be a substance, a substance amount. He got like, shit, he got like $96,000 for his house or something. He was like, here you go for it. Who? Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. You know, I, have a good life. You know what I'm saying? I hope everything works out for you. <laughs> You know, I called Alan down here, and, and what's weird though, me and Tiffany actually was cool at that time because I don't know what it was, but she was like, well, you know what I'm saying, she got, I guess she got attracted by the she, fact she that liked I, you. I robbed a girl or something, but I'm not going to like no motherfucker that steals fucking $800 and some shit from me. Yeah, you use Ooh. it for what it's worth though. Man, I'm not finna like that so, person. So now you, you call Alan up. He's down here. Come, you call yeah, I say, look, man, I'm about to send you some money, jump on the train, you know what I'm saying, shoot down to Charleston. He was like, all right, man, man. Send him like 200 and some change. He comes down here. We shoot the murder beast. Me, him, her, and that, um, another girl, black girl. Black girl? What's her name? Um, Aisha, Keisha, some shit like that. I don't know. It's, it's sure. Some sort of Isha. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's some side of Isha. Anyway, then, Naisha. That was her name, Naisha. Naisha. It's Tiffany's friend. She's from, um, she was from New York. She was from, from New York. Anyway, damn, um, we go to Myrtle Beach. I'm spending money left and right. I mean, having fun. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. I ain't got nothing better than this. Limo. The whole yeah, nine yards. Ooh, man, I'm acting a fool in this shit, man. Anyway, damn, um, do that for about a week. Um, shoot back down here. I go back to South Carolina. Allen goes to Florida. I don't know what the hell really Tiffany's doing. I wasn't really in touch with her like that. Next time I know, boom, Allen calls me up. Hey, I got another lick. Oh, how much? Like I said, one hundred thousand. Man, I'm rolling. I'm on the way, bro. I'm on the way. How'd you get down here? I just in a car. Which car? In the rental car. Okay, who rented the car though? Tiffany rented the car. So she's back up there. Yeah, she's in Charleston at the time. Okay. Boom. I thought she was down here. That's why I was confused. Okay, so she's in Charleston when Alan calls you. Yeah, Alan calls me up. I'm like, all right, bet. What's the deal? I call her. We know she calls me up. We get the rental car. Boom. We going down here. Alan comes at me, hands me a little credit card. It ain't got no name on. It. He was like, look, just go check it out. Here go the information. Here goes this. Here goes that. Go peep the shit out. I go peep it out. 
It don't show number like thirty thousand dollars on the account in the savings account. It shows like nine thousand in the um checking account. I'm like, can't do shit with this. But in my mind, I'm like, I still gonna get whatever I can. Is that before or after they'd already done everything? This was after. This after. Yeah. This this okay. hell yeah was after shit. Anyway, damn. This was July. He called me Friday. I didn't hit Florida till. It was late. It was late as a motherfucker. Yeah, matter of fact, check the um, the um, what you call it? The uh, what's the shit? The picture where they got me standing in front of a little ATM machine. The first time I did it, I just met with them. Within an hour, I was up there at that Star checking that damn thing. That's what I said. That time right there, within within that hour, two, I'll say two hour period, I just hit Florida. So it was the middle of the night. Yeah, pretty three much. in the morning. Something like that. I know, I know the time. I know it was the middle of the night. That's all I know. His mom wasn't there. He told his mom to um go stay with uh, her boyfriend or some shit like that because uh some dudes had knocked on Allen's door or some shit like that and they was trying to beat his ass and he was nervous. I don't know. Anyway, damn, um, hit the card. I come back. Told him the deal. Went and got a room over there. Where'd you get a room? The hotel by the Denny's. The one right behind the Denny's? Right next to it? Is you can walk to the Denny's from the parking lot. Right. I mean, it's right there. The lobby's yeah, right next to the Denny's. There's a, there's a little... Um, same side of the street. Yeah, the same okay. side of the street. There's a little detector. Or the gas station, the Denny's, and the hotel. Yeah, there's a, um, a cop car right there in the little Diamond fence. Diamond Inn. Diamond Lodge. One of those. Shit. There's a cop car right there behind the fence by the lobby and shit like that. Okay. Anyway, damn, um... Shit, that was it. Pretty much getting as much money as possible. Him, him, Bruce, her, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. And then come down to Charleston. We all meet up, me, him, and her. That's when I called y'all. Yeah, when, when, that no, that's who, who all went to Charles. When, when did Bruce appear in all this? Bruce was there that night. When you get there, yeah, Bruce was there that night. When me and Tiffany got there, Bruce and Allen was there. Bruce and Allen was at his house. And like I said, okay, I'm taking money. You know, I hung out when we probably was together. Shit, I ain't gonna say a week. We was probably together a couple days. Next thing I know, we all meeting up in Charleston. But it was just me, Tiffany, and Allen. We had the best western. The brooms and her How, name. How'd y'all get to Charleston? Separate. I was already in Charleston. I was with my grandma. And, uh, when you left here, after you, you did the cards and you stayed in, how long did you stay in that hotel me? by the Denny's? Shit, like, I think it was just that night. Or it might have been more than one night. Because I know we stayed in that hotel. We stayed in the one across the street. Like, if you pull out that parking lot and you go directly across the street, there's another hotel right there. A little cheap, rinky dink ass hotel. You don't know what I'm talking about. There ain't no hotel there. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. It ain't right across the street. You gotta go across right Lane Avenue. Gas station. It's you gotta right go across gas Lane station. Avenue, the other side of the street. I ain't talking about the days end of the Ramada now. I ain't no, talking about them. I ain't talking north of that ten. You come out there on uh, Lane Avenue is the main road right there. Yeah, I know that. Okay, when you came off Lane Avenue, if you came from I ten, come down Lane Avenue, you took a left, went around the gas station, past the Denny's, and there's the hotel. Yeah, that's right? what I'm saying. You but you, you, but you had to take a right off Lane to go to the other hotels. There's no other hotels on that side. Okay, I'm saying I'm, Alan stays in Deerfield Apartments, right? Yeah. Okay, so if you come out Deerfield and you bust a right, that's okay. going towards the interstate. Right. You know what I'm saying? The hotel, the, the first, first hotel we stayed at is on the right. Okay. The other one's on the left. Okay. That's left from Lane about. Avenue, going left. Yeah, That's the bowling alley? You're, I don't even know where the bowling alley is, shit. I don't know Lane Avenue like that. The okay. only time I've ever been there. So two on hotels there. over there? Yeah. Across the street from each other? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The Diamond Inn was right there, and that other hotel was right there. And then there's a third hotel right there. That's why I was asking. I don't know. I just know those. I ain't talking about, like I said, the days, because I know the days in and the Ramada. The days in right the other street. side of the interstate. Yeah, I ain't talking about those. Now, there's a executive in, uh, budget in, and diamond in, or diamond hotel or and something. And it was the budget in. It was, I know it was a cheap, cheap ass hotel. You could, like, it had sliding glass doors and shit in there. Anyway, damn. Um, so you stayed one, two nights in diamond in? Do you, you remember? The first hotel? The first night I stayed there. And then you moved to the other hotel? No, nah, actually, shit, I stayed. I stayed with Allen. Um, stayed at the Comfort Inn at the beach. Um, okay, but then you hit you hit the, the ATMs Inn. and you did all that crap. You hit stayed at the Holiday Inn at um, and what's the shit called? Um, I know there's a Waffle House right beside it. I don't know, like I know it's a okay. bunch of rich people who live around there. Okay, it's off of the, it's off of the interstate. Um, there's an Embassy Suites right there. Is that my JTB? I don't even know what JTB is, man. Jay Turner Butler? 
Or somewhere down there. I know you got it. I got an idea. There's only one way. There's only one way in and one way out. Okay, I, I think I know where you're talking yeah, about. There's only one way in. So now you, you stayed at all these places, and you said you go back to Charleston. Yeah, once like how, how do you get back to Charleston? The reason we went back to Charleston was because now how did you get back to Charleston? You said you met up Tiffany, when you got to me Charleston. and Tiffany came back to Charleston. You, what, what happened this to was, Alan and Bruce? Alan and Bruce was here. Alan went to his house, and Bruce we dropped Bruce off in Baker County. Bruce was like, I gotta when, go. Uh, people will be people will be asking questions. When, about when did me. you drop Bruce off in Baker? I mean, was he with you the whole time in all these hotels? No, no, hell no. Bruce so it was really early on. Did you go to Bruce? Or, I mean, what, what? Bruce stayed with us at um the night that I got um the night that I came there and got the credit card. Mm -hmm. Was that them? Hold up, shit. It might have been before that, huh? I mean, after that, Bruce stayed with us at um that really cheap ass hotel. Okay. And he didn't stay with us at that um. First what's it called hotel. the first hotel but he was like there for like whatever but he I mean but he didn't stay there because him he stayed at Allen's house Bruce was with us from Did the Allen time stay at Allen's house also that yeah. the first night not the first night the the first hotel about the Dennings who all stayed there you and Tiffany yeah me Tiffany and Allen and Allen me, Tiffany and Allen I don't even know if he stayed there because I think he went home too because he was like right there I just yeah, remember he, he was right down the road. I remember he was there for like whatever but I mean so you give him drop Bruce off in Baker County yeah, right. Before, and then and then we dropped Alan off, and then me and her shot back here. Where'd you drop Alan off? The house? Yeah, his mom's? he stayed. He stayed in um, Deerfield. Okay. And then back. you shot back to South Carolina, just you and Tiffany. Yeah. Nobody I'm, else. I got the Mazda. She got the Luna. You know what I'm saying? She's telling so, me. So you got two cars down there? Yeah. She already had her um. She had her car now. Her car was that um. It was a green Luna. Right. And the Mazda was the rental car now. Right. So I got the Mazda. You know what I'm saying? I'm driving the Mazda and shit. She's got the Luna. Okay. Um. Pretty much this, this, and that. The third. Why rent a car then? What do you mean why rent a car? She's already got the Lumina. Oh no, we rented the car when I um. But you came down together in the car, didn't you? Yeah. In the, in the was like, That's what I'm saying. She was like, "Look, we're gonna rent the car and we're gonna go down there." So where did the Lumina come from? That's her car. She I mean, said, "How to get to how to get to Florida?" That's my back. problem. That's my question. How to get to Florida? What the Lumina? Yeah. You I said you and Tiffany rode down together. In the Mazda, that's what I'm trying yeah. to say, though. But you said when you went back, you took the Mazda and she took the Luna. Yeah, she, we, me and her came back to Charleston together. I took the Mazda and went away, and she got the Luna okay. and went away. When you left way. Florida, you both no, left in the Mazda. Yeah, we came. That, that was what you, you just made it sound like. You took the Mazda back to Charleston no, and she took no, the Luna. No, no, I'm no, wondering where the Luna came from. Yeah, because the, 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 um, the Lumina was at, uh, her brother was driving the Luna. It was Luma. in Charleston the whole time, right? Yeah, her brother was driving the Luna. So you and she go back in the Mazda, and then when you get to Charleston, I got the Mazda, you take the Mazda. Because she kept the bitching about, I got to take it back. I got to take it back. Like, look, I'm going to pay for it. Don't worry about it. You weren't going to pay for it, but that's a good line anyway. So what? So what? So you dumped it off some place that's a lot. So what'd you do with it? <laughs> Damn, um, she was like, "Look, you already told us that." Nah, she was like, um, she was like, she called me. She was like, "No, Alan called me." They was like, Alan was like, "Look, I'm in Charleston. I'm like, How the fuck you get to Charleston?" He was like, "I'm up here with Tiffany and shit." And I was like, "Where Bruce at?" He's like, "Bruce back in Baker County and shit." I was like, "Okay." He was like, "Look, I need some more money." No, he was like, the card is fucked up. That's what he told me. And that's when I called y'all. And that's when really the whole shit came to play. And I was like, okay. I was like, um, tell Tiffany to get a room. And it was hard to get a room or some bullshit like that. I don't remember. They got the rooms. I get there. And that's when he was like, babe, he handed me the card and shit. And he was like, look, we'll try the card. Try the pin number. It wouldn't work. I was like, fuck. So, bam. No, that's when he was like, Dante called. That's when he told me he was like, look, shit's fucked up. And I was like, what do you mean? And that's when the whole shit came about the fucking people. I was like, what do you mean about the people? And he was like, look, fucked up situation. I need your help to get out of this shit. You know what I'm saying? I was like, what do you mean? He was like, the car don't work no more. The police already know about the people and shit. They talking about um, uh, Dante's mom. Police done been up there. They done seen the car from a helicopter and shit. And I'm like, slow down, man. What are you talking about? And that's when the whole shit happened about the people. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to help you out. That's the first thing that came to mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to help you out. <laughs> Get in a fucked up situation. I'm going to help you out. What happened? That's when he breaks the shit down to me, tells me about burying the people. You know what I'm saying? Him and Bruce done dug the hole. The shit was Tiffany. Basically, like I said, the shit was Tiffany's idea. You know what I'm saying? And the shit went from there. Alan knew I could get with there with that car. You know what I'm saying? I told Alan, I ain't going to lie to you in the beginning. I asked him, I was like, why didn't you just tell me about the murder? Why didn't you ask me to help you with the murder? You know what I'm saying? Because... I mean, you know how shit is. It's fucked up. You can't trust nobody, man. But you went down there to help him with a lick initially, didn't you? Yeah, but a lick is a, stealing some money is a tidbit different from killing two fucking people. You know what I'm saying? Well, like yeah. I told y'all this, man. And look, I don't care if you quote me. I'll say this in front of the judge, man. And this is some serious shit. If I killed them people, man, I wouldn't have no wit. I wouldn't have no co-defendants, man. 
I mean, my grandmothers, my uncles, everybody has taught me. Let, let me ask you this. some shit, but let it's common sense, this. man. Murder is the easiest ca- easiest charge in the world to get away with. You know what I'm saying? Not in your case. No, it feel what I'm saying, though. It's the, one of the easiest things to get away with, though. You know what I'm saying? But it's one of the hardest things to do. You know what I'm saying? That's the where, that's where people fuck up. I don't think it's too easy to get away with, either. The perfect crime is the one nobody knows about. Well, look at all the unsolved murders that are in this world. That's because one yeah, motherfucker did it. Look at all the solved murders that are in I this mean, world. I don't knock it. You know what I'm saying? I don't Sometimes it. it's just one person. It don't make any damn difference. But that's a stupid motherfucker, though. You know what I'm saying? That's a problem. Nine out of ten is a person that didn't Th- let want me to ask kill you somebody. This. It, it wasn't premeditated this. murder. I'll put it that way. This wasn't premeditated? No, I'm saying about if a person that usually nine out of ten gets caught, I'm pretty sure it ain't premeditated. <laughs> if a person's gonna sit there and plan, think, act it out, come on, man, you're gonna literally go through your brain. Okay, I gotta do this. I'm smart enough to know how to do this. Come on, they practically put it on TV how to get away with anything these days. You, you, I, I gotta be honest with you, man. You're one of the best storytellers I've ever heard in my you? life. You know, but, but, but you're spinning stories to me, man. And no, you know what? It. That's I, why I said. I mean, is there like, uh, is there like a uh, fucking campfire or something in the jail that everybody gets around at night and listens to you spin stories? Because you're good. Oh, no, man, it ain't you're like good. that. Like I told you, <laughs> you're full of it, but you're good. Listen, like I told you from the beginning, I fucked up. You know what I'm saying? The same thing I told my mm-hmm. grandmother. My grandmother asked, why did you do that? It wasn't the simple fact that, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, why don't we go back to, to, to the first story you told us, which is I remember, oddly I, enough. I remember everything I told y'all that. Oddly enough. Michael, that's the one I believe, okay? Because... That's the first one you're going to believe because, okay, you know, no, I've been no. sitting in the room for and this, no, Let me, let me rephrase game. that. The beginning of the story you told us that night was total crap, okay? The beginning of it, don't know don't nothing about nothing. You didn't call anybody. I don't know. Well, I would never call the freaking police. You think <laughs> I'm stupid? Well, I spoke to you. You want to hear it on tape? Okay, yeah, I called the police. I you okay, was. yeah, I mean, we went around and around and around, but and you kept kind of, sort of remembering it. Okay, yeah, okay, we got you on that one, so I'll go ahead and come clean on that. But that's what I just told you, though. I told him I would help him out, and that's when I called y'all. You know what I'm saying? I called y'all. Okay, you're, I don't even know how to say it, man. So you're sitting here telling us, tell us, and expect us to believe that after Alan Wade sits here and tells you that that he and Bruce killed this old couple, Bruce, I mean Alan somehow makes it back to Charleston, comes and talks to you, I mean, and just, admits everything, and then and then gives you gives and, back and, 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 the gives card the cards back, gives, gets back, gives you the card back. And then you say he had and talk and, and, and pretend to, to be the dead guy. No, see, he gave me the card because I was like, okay, I'm going to either get on the phone, I'm going to get on the internet, I'm going to try to do something to open the card up, you know what I'm saying, to get the money. That's how the reason. He didn't tell me, hey, we just killed two people. Here, get this card open for me. That's what you just said. He said no, the shit went no, down. No, down no, I'm saying, in the beginning, call up the what I'm saying, in the beginning, he didn't say, here goes the card, you know what I'm saying? Or no, he didn't say, we killed two people, get the card on. It was, get the card on. This is how, this is what happened. You done lost your mind, you know that? I lose my mind. Everybody else's story don't match nothing to that. Ooh, I ain't got nothing to do with everybody else's story. Here's your problem. You do have everything to do with that. And your story you just told us, interesting as it was, is crap, and I can prove it. Okay. Hell. Well, first of all, you, Alan, and Tiffany went together in the Silver Mazda back to Charleston, okay? Wasn't no splitting up, none of this shit. You want to see the video from you guys at the Enmark gas station in Pooler, Georgia, when you stopped for gas on your return trip? Where are you? Then we went back and forth to Florida and Charleston about ten times. No, 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 no. no I this know that was, this was this was the day before you, you were caught. Can admit that. This is the day before you were caught using the victim's card. I have all of that on video, and it didn't work. That's right. But you three are together on your return trip. Ain't no Alan suddenly shows up bullshit, okay? He rode with you up there. He <laughs> freaking rode with you. You no. can't even look me in the eye and tell me that. No, crap. no, listen. You're right. He rode with us. But like I said, he was up there 50 I, times. I, he I'm was done up, talking with you, man. He was up and down. You screwing around me. How? He, he could be up there 50 times. He wasn't up and down there 50 times in the Mazda with the victim's card after they were dead, okay? Because you didn't have that kind of time. Okay, the first time we talked to you, Okay, the first time we talked to you was what do you mean, the night? Tuesday night around the left. Well, it was That's close to fine. midnight. No, it was close to midnight that I spoke to you. Okay, that was, was the Tuesday. first time I spoke to you. Okay, Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday. We already had the full history of where you'd been with that car. Okay, and then Thursday. You done got arrested in Charleston. Okay, you didn't have time to go back and forth and back and forth like you're trying to sell me. Okay. You just went back up there because in between that time, we got the rental car. We got all kinds of crap, okay? We we have you attempting yeah, to use the rental car was, up there. The rental car was put there Tuesday and Wednesday night, the, the, the day before we got arrested. I know that. Rent, no, Tuesday night, the night I went to that hotel. 
when I met all them, when I went, went to them in the um, Best Western, that rental car was dropped off right there. Mm-hmm. Beside the um, Enterprise, whatever, the Triangle. When, when you picked up the Lumina and you all left in the yeah, Lumina together. Me. Yeah, you, Tiffany yeah. and Alan. That's what I'm saying. That's the same night that we was at the hotel, the Tuesday night. Okay. You know, about 20 minutes ago, you told me that you and Tiffany went up there together, and somehow Alan just showed up and called you and said, I need money. your help. I need money. I need your help. Okay. That's bullshit. He, he rode with you in the freaking Mazda from Florida to Charleston. He was with you the entire time. When, though? No, I'm saying, okay. like, let me, let me, let me put this real simply, okay? After you all went to the people's house... And took them away, and took them to Baker County, okay, and buried them alive in a fucking hole, and then went and hit the ATM machine, and went to the hotel, okay. After you did all that stuff, okay. Then y'all stopped in Georgia on the way to Charleston. Then y'all get to Charleston, and I've got all your little ATM videos and attempts to use the card all the way along the way. The store has excellent video, by the way. I watched the Mazda pull up. Watch all you three dumb jokers get out of the Mazda. Okay, and go in the store. So, ain't no separate cars. He met us. Crap. Okay, you got to think of a new story because this one ain't working for me. Okay? But about the new now, story. this is even better. Okay, considering you didn't get there till what three a.m. something like that, and you immediately went and used the ATM ATM machine. That's what I did. Then, then it's really, really hard for me to have you on video in the Walmart on Normandy Boulevard before that. Real difficult, isn't it? At the Walmart. At the Walmart on video, you and Tiffany. Okay, and Alan, for that matter. Oh, I got so much crap on you. You are so freaking buried, you don't even know it. That's what I'm saying. You said on the night, the night that the people got killed. I'm yep. at the Walmart. You're at the Walmart. Who, man? Look at you. Oh wow, another bombshell. Let me. Hey, get you me. know all that stuff you can do because you good on the computer. Guess what? When was I supposedly at the Walmart? Like the time frame? Well, I ain't I supposedly. I had okay, you on well, video at the Walmart. Okay, that day. That Tuesday. That that Tuesday. Shit. It's probably Friday. Okay, the Friday. That Friday, I was at that Walmart. They got to be on video. On video. Before I use the card or after I use the card? Before. Man, I got to see that. I got to see you that. You will. It'll be what exhibit? Yeah, it's going to be like exhibit 976 with your, your, your mug on it that we get to show when we go to court. I got to see that one. Yeah, wow. Your lawyer ain't sharing all this with you? Yeah, my people about to get a new lawyer, man. Your people? Yeah. Because I don't know what's up with this dude. I got news for you. Your attorney that you have now is a good attorney. We about to get Bill Shepard or whoever the fuck that is. They said that damn, he's (laughs) he's supposedly good. Please send him to speak to me. I'm just saying, that's what damn, because with Richard, man, I ain't got no, um, it's been eight months, I ain't got no copies of Discovery. I don't know what's going on. Man, they been to see me one time in eight months. Man, I don't know what's going on, man. Who? Why you think I'm writing y'all trying to figure out? Yeah. Well, you're writing us something we'll tell you something that's entertaining. Okay? And it is entertaining. Right. It, it, and it, it is. And we're enjoying our conversation it's good because fiction. they are. It's, it's good for a chuckle. I'm telling you, you, wanna, you need to write stories, okay? Because no. you're good. Ain't about I'm trying to but you're right. You tried to get your ass out of a crack. I mean, don't yeah. don't look at me and tell nobody. Like you stood there while it happened. I believe Watch you them. didn't do it. But I know for I know you were standing there. Watched them be buried alive. I know you were standing there. Who would make up such a thing if you didn't sit there and watch him be buried alive? Who would say I was a flashlight while they did it? Who in their right mind would say that and make that shit up? You know what I'd say if I was lying? I was in another freaking state. Way in California. Yeah, exactly. Except, you know, the video on the Walmart would prove you weren't in California, so we're not going to worry about that. The best thing you can hope for is to tell me the, the truth instead of screwing around with this crap. I mean, you, you are where you are. Shit happened, whether you knew it was going to happen or not, okay? Okay, that, so for that's what I'm being told, is. So for what I'm being told right now, though, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little confused because it's like, I ain't necessarily saying I'm confused, but okay, yeah, they're telling me, they telling me it's like, I done heard this, this, and that, and the third, you know what I'm saying, from each person. I'm like, okay, that's now, I, I don't know what you're saying. I'm talking about as far as Bruce saying this. Alan saying this, then the, well, actually, Alan, I ain't, from what I heard, Alan ain't said nothing about nothing yet. So the girl saying this, and it's like, I'm not asking my lawyer. I was like, well, let me let me work with him. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what we can do. And he's talking about, um, well, they ain't trying to do nothing. They're trying to give you mandatory life with a death penalty. I'm like, what? Hold up, man. I ain't killing nobody, man. Okay, if I knew about it, if I did anything, I ain't kill nobody. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I ain't getting the needle for the You need to stop screwing around and tell us the whole truth, okay? I know you were there. Okay, Michael? 
I, listen to me. Let me finish, okay? Nobody I know you're there. Now, now did, 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 I, did, did you know it was going to happen? I don't know. Okay. Yes, Do I know that, you were there? Yeah, I freaking up, know you were there. If that DNA shit, that should approve if it's, okay, no DNA is that. That'll prove I wasn't there, right? No. What can it, what, what do I need to prove that I wasn't there? That, okay, what do I need to prove that I wasn't at that place while them people were being buried? That's up to you. If you weren't there, then show some proof that you weren't. What? What do I need? That's what I'm trying to you say. You tell me. If you weren't there, you should be you should be able to, to prove that. And it should be real but, easy. Okay, and what y'all are going to do is y'all going to turn around and say, we got this whole bunch of shit, you know what I'm saying, that still can tie you in it. Michael, I'm saying, if you, you, you tell me... You know, you're, 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 you're facing tying you in it. You're fucking in it. You're facing okay. capital, capital. I mean, you can, you can sit here and try and spin it however you want, okay? And I can understand. God knows I'm not in your position. I'm glad I'm not, okay? But I can understand wanting to make me believe that you weren't there. But it ain't gonna happen, okay? I've been doing this for too long. I have too much evidence, way too much evidence, for me to ever believe that you weren't there, okay? I will never believe but it. But evidence saying okay? that has something to do now, with it, and evidence being there. You if you're there holding the light and you don't, you think they're just screwing around, okay, but you gotta tell me that shit. If, if Alan did something specifically, you need to tell me something, then instead of, you know, when such and such has said something, something, and, and if, if uh, Bruce did something specific. What do you mean specifically, Alan? What you saw, specifically what you saw. I mean, did you see some, you know, did you see Tiffany pick up a shovel and waylay these old people? Or did you see Alan do something specifically? Or did you see Bruce do something specifically? You know, exact action that they did? Were you standing there going, holy shit, this is going bad? I mean, what what's going on at that time? Because I, I, I'm being straight with you. I ain't never going to believe you weren't there, okay? Because we got way, we're way past that. Way what I'm saying, past so there's evidence that can prove I was there. There's evidence that's got you in a world problems right now. I mean, I know that. I don't deny that. You know what I'm saying? But is there evidence that can prove I was there? That's what I'm saying. You have evidence that proves you're not. Who? Do you have evidence to prove you're not there? You keep talking about some friend you, or I some sort saying. of doctor or something. You've you got to show you're me. Saying. Anything. Anything. You have yet to give me anything or any reason for me to believe. Because everything you told me... You know, that you want me to believe other things, I can prove that you're lying, okay? So here's your problem. Now, you told 110 lies. Why the hell am I going to believe the next thing that comes out of your mouth? Of course. Okay? And, and I'm not doing that to I you. Can't you I, I can't not I didn't put any words in your mouth. I didn't ask you to tell me anything. All I've asked you for is the truth from the freaking beginning. Tell me the truth, okay? The exact truth. That's all I've ever asked for. That's all I want in this, okay? If you went down there for a lick, you went down there for a lick, okay? Now, if you didn't know shit was going to carry that far, you didn't know. Now, when you get there and shit's happening and something's going through your mind, then I need to know about that shit too, okay? If you know what was talked about or what was planned, I need to know about that stuff, okay? Because the only thing right now that, that we don't have is the 100% truth, okay? But I've got about... Well, I've got more than enough to put it all together. Yeah, 99.99%. You know, what I've, what I've got... You know, I mean, we'll just start with your, your repeated use of the ATM card and understanding that at nearly every attempt you made, whether you got cash or not, I have you on video. Yeah, I know okay. that. He showed me that. So that's a night up, beautiful up. timeline to put you in different places at different times, which can prove that you weren't in other places at certain times. Then we'll just go from there to the rental car. Okay. Rental car had GPS on it. So that puts you in certain places at certain times in the rental car. That puts the car there, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, okay, let, let's look at it like this. You write and guess GPS, what, though? You write the rest of the people you're with put you there. Okay? Yeah, but damn, I mean, that's like, okay, um, that's like me and you committed a crime. Oh, he did it. No, he did it. Man, what? Oh. Are right, you going to accuse me of committing a crime with you? I'm going to say, where was I when, when this crime was supposed to be committed? You say, bullshit. I was yeah, a fucking yeah. little champ on Old Middleburg Road. Go check the video. Yeah. You, you can't give us nothing like that, okay? Because it wasn't it wasn't I, the way I was it was. At the you were already there. You already told us you were there. Everybody else told us you were there. So okay, okay well, right now. I mean, you can think of stories all day, but it, it ain't gonna help. That's okay? what I'm saying. So right now, the only okay. thing I don't know is the only thing I don't know is, you know, were, were you taking part in putting those people in the ground, or were you standing there going, "This is fucked up"? That's the only thing I don't know, okay? That's the only thing I don't know about this whole scenario. And I don't know exactly, you know, if... if I mean, go well, back to taking the smart card out of the, out of, out of the satellite dish. Yeah. <laughs> Who? <laughs> what? The satellite receiver had a little smart card she can get free video and stuff off of, put it in another card that was missing out of the victim's house from, you know, earlier. It, that's not here or there. You know, you know, and then we'll just go, okay, let's just go to the next level. You're the computer guy, right? 
You're the one who knows how to do that shit. You're smart enough to do it, so we're not going to play games. I mean, I know you can work that shit. Okay. I also know that Tiffany ain't smart enough to do it. Okay. Ain't no damn doubt in my mind. She couldn't do it if she wanted to. Yeah. Uh, you know I'm not lying. She ain't that bright. Okay. And then we got Alan. If he Alan exactly, knew how to do it, he wouldn't be calling you to do it. Okay. He's not exactly so building rockets. Obviously, either. you're the one that has the computer knowledge. Okay. You're the one smart enough to find that shit on the computer and take care of it. You told us that yourself. That's why they brought it to you to take care of. Okay. You go through all that shit. You're the only one that's going to be smart enough to take all the freaking bank records out of the house, all the insurance information, to rattle off shit to me on the phone like social security numbers, address. You tried to bullshit me on the dog's name, but you screwed that up. Okay, I mean, you, you came up with all kinds of crap, but it was wrong, okay? You buried yourself. You're already buried, okay? And you yeah. did it. I didn't do it. No, I give, I, yeah. Okay? I did my homework before I came to see you, okay, the first time in Charleston. I knew everything about you, man. What about me? Done, I don't, I don't okay? have, What do you mean about me? There's nothing to know about me. I'm not a bad person. I don't have no bad yeah, you, you weren't a bad person. I mean, you take me for 14 grand claiming you're a U.S. Marshal. You might rob me of my dope and my shit and my box, but, you know, that, that'd be different. But, you know, that, if, that, if, that, if you define that as not being a bad person, then okay. Okay. But we're on a different level now because we got dead people. I get what you're saying, but I ain't take nobody from the money. That man gave me that money. I'm not going to refuse it. Did, did you not bullshit him into thinking he had warrants, as you just explained to me, you could do on the computer? That you were and then he got Marshall? the hell out of town, and you were helping him out, so he just gave you the money? I, I had a badge and everything. Oh. Man. You know, Michael, when, when we talked that night in Charleston, we talked about it, and I, and I said, you know, why didn't you interfere or stop them in any way when they were burying these people alive? And you, you said, because, you know, up in New York, you can get, you know, you know, actually, you never know, you can be the next one. I said, you know, don't you have a conscience? And you, you, you told me you did have a conscience. I said, but that very action of not interfering in that is not having a conscience. It's a definition of not having a conscience is what he said. That's not, man, there's too many definitions for a conscience. Hmm. Okay, so I mean, it, I, I'm, I'm being straight with you, Michael. No, you know, it's, at this point, you know. Okay, at this point, um, I'm at a, I'm at a, I'm at a, like you said, it's like this. Supposedly, I mean, I ain't gonna say supposedly. I'm gonna say y'all got enough evidence. You know what I'm saying? They can tie me. And I ain't gonna say time. I'm gonna say put me here, put me there, put me here, put me there, put me there. You know. Whatever. I can put you with everybody involved in this prior to, during, and following the murder. That's bad. Okay. And then you have your own voice. Yeah, well, she, and really, yeah, that's bad. Okay. Then we have this, you know, now you know they're dead and you're still tapping the ATM card. I'm a victim of circumstance. You're a victim of your own ego, man. Not necessarily. Your own ego and greed. 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 Definitely greed. Greed, yeah. But when it comes, like I said, to murder and death, nah, hell. Yeah. I mean, you're so damn sure to tell me that you didn't kill him. Tell me what the hell happened. Make me believe it. How am I supposed to do that? Because like Tell I said, me the truth. Tell me what happened when 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 you leave. I know you're I know you're at the house already. Okay. When you leave there, okay. When you leave there, you know there's a retired homicide detective that has a private investigation firm at the park where you guys were hanging out before by the victim's house. Also in the football. Okay. Hey, who came to us and said, "Hey, you know them guys right there? We, I saw them down there." But yeah, check me out though. I would never toss in no football with nobody in front of no park, in front of no house. I don't know where the f that came from. Somebody please tell me where that came from. I got to see this video. That's one video I got to say see. no video. Who? He said there were people lawyer, sitting down there. My lawyer told me that shit. He said the state had an investigator or something that saw me, Alan, Bruce, the girl, or somebody throwing a football in the park or something. Football or basketball or something. I said, shit. You got to prove that one. I know that was bullshit. I think, oh, man. How do you feel some compassion about you know, your defense of throwing a football? Yeah, because I know that that's some bullshit. But you, but you don't argue about yeah. Detective Meacham sitting here telling you you're at a scene of people getting murdered. Meacham, I'm wondering how to say your damn name right here now. Um, I hear what you're saying, man, but I mean, okay. Um, like I said, you got all this evidence that can time me to this. If I sit there and tell you, you know what I'm saying? See, I can't even do that because you want me to tell you something that I can't fucking tell you. That's the part I don't get. Well, if you can't bring yourself to tell hey, me, I'm bringing myself that. to tell you is. You want me to tell you something I can't tell you? You want me to say what happened? You know, can't or won't? Happened? You won't tell me. It ain't won't. It's a difference between won't. It's, 
It, it's can't awesome. because if you do, you feel like you, listen, you're condemning yourself. What happened to those people? Yeah, I can tell you what I was told all day. Yeah, I can tell you happened. Yeah, tell us what you, you did when you saw it happen. Did people get killed? I did not see that shit happen. Then you were standing high. You sat there and told me they were you, you told us you were in the light that they groaned when they dropped him in the hole. No. They were still alive. No, believe me, I, I know. How, how, how about this statement? Bruce, how, hey, shit hey, for hey, a year. hey, Mike, how about this statement? Bruce took him to the bodies. Bruce just fucking hung us all. He just fucking hung us yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, I remember saying that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah. saying that, but at the same time, that can be taken two no, 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 no. That can be taken one one. I'll take bets on how that one's going to be taken in front of 12 people. You got to get, your mom, you got to give me some fucking bond. I got to get out of here. Yeah. He took him. He I said, said get me to Florida. He just he fucking took hung us all. Said, Bruce just fucking hung us all. I said, give me to Florida. Give me a bond so I can get the fuck on out of here, man. But I did not mean I'm going to, you know, haul ass and not come back. <laughs> Look, if I was you, I would haul ass and not come back. I'll be yeah, on I'd be, my, I'd be on my computer making new IDs. What do you have to gone. lose? A lot of What do you have to lose? I've been lose. on the run before. I know how that shit. So you were on the run when we found you. No, I wasn't. I wasn't on the run. I mean, I could have went back and they would have locked me up for nine months, uh, 11, 10 months. Between nine and 11 months, I would have had not have been on I wasn't on no run, but I've been on that run shit before. I know how that shit goes. I'm not trying to live like that, man. But nothing. She's not going to get a bond here. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you watched all that shit happen and you didn't have nothing to do with it, you need to tell me about it. You need to tell me every last okay, detail let's say, of it. Okay, okay, if I did, okay, let's say if I did watch it happen, I said it had nothing to do with it. How's that going to help me? There's no way possible that can help me. Doesn't hurt you. You're already there. Okay, I'm still gonna get mandatory. Like I'm still gonna get a needle put him on. God, that shit don't help me, man. Ooh, man. Well, let me ask you this. Let me ask you. This. You're adamant you didn't do it to him. Okay, you're adamant about that. Damn positive do, about that. Do you feel that the people that did should be held fully responsible for it? Of course. Then that's how you help yourself. Because if you ain't fully responsible and you have evidence or proof that shows who is fully responsible. That's on you. I mean, if you want to wear it for him, you go saying, for it. You you're, you're, saying, you're saying I'm gonna have to wear it regardless. How am I not? How am I not gonna have to wait regardless? Okay, y'all got a, a video that does this. I got two dead people's credit card. Man, in the interview room. Twelve realize. people? Twelve people? I'm going down for that. You get twelve Floridians, you know what I'm saying? Okay, they just saw me July. They said whenever I hit the TV, suspect and killing these two people. I was guilty in your mind already. Now Why that, are we even going to trial? Just go ahead and handle your business. Come on, man. Well, what do they know no, about no, Tiffany? Just like, what do they know about Alan? Much. What do they what do they know about Bruce? Maybe you provide something for them on Bruce Allen or Tiffany. What can I provide for them? The truth. I'm, I'm, I think I'm lost, man. I'm not trying to be funny, but I seriously think I'm lost. Okay. Because you're delusional in the thinking that, that that you can spin this around to to this your best advantage. This isn't spinnable. You're not getting out. And okay. You're, you're, you're not getting out before trial. You're going to go to trial. You're going to sit there until trial. There's no option about that. Okay. And, and we've been upfront about that from the beginning. That ain't going to happen. And I've told you that several times. You ain't getting a bond. Okay. Maybe you wouldn't some other state. You're not getting a bond here. Ain't nothing I can do to get a bond. Nope. Zero. Nothing. Nothing. Not a nothing. Shit. Okay, so that ain't gonna happen. And we've told you that from the beginning, but you you didn't either just didn't want to believe us or just didn't believe us. Thought we were screwing. I mean, that is just. I feel you know what I'm saying. Like, okay, I'm charged with murder. You know what I'm saying. But if I didn't kill nobody, you know what I'm saying. You ain't charged with shoplifting, man. Michael, it's how many murder. guilty people have you talked to in the jail? Yeah, how many people in the jail tell you I'm guilty? How many people in the jail told you they're guilty of their crimes? None. 50 50? I mean, the ones that got it, you know, right there in their hands, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like this case? Yeah, I mean, it, it's like I got 100 fingers pointing at me right now, you know what I'm saying? And it's. Shit, the best part is, is you're holding most of them. You did all the pointing yourself. I got a headache. Okay, so like I said, I mean, what. what What's the best thing that can come out of from? I mean, what's the best thing that can happen to me? The if best every, thing, if, if the whole truth, if, every y'all get there, if everything comes out, positive, everything comes out. The absolute best thing is if you, if you were to be cooperative and tell everything, the best thing is they're probably not going to seek death penalty. Okay, but that's on the table right now. We can't make that deal. Okay, nope. that's up to the state attorney and your attorney. You come wholly clean with them, or wholly clean with us after talking with them. You know, they can make those arrangements. I can't do that, okay? You're looking at some time right now. If you're convicted, you right now the way things stand. So you said, okay, right now the way things stand, charge of first degree murder. If you're convicted of first degree murder, you have two penalties. Life or death. Yeah, no, That's it, okay? I'm not ready. I cannot, he cannot make a deal that takes that off the table. You said the state attorney can. 
The state attorney can talk with you, but I tell you this up front: before he we takes his, talk together. Listen to me. Yeah, we can, no, we, no, we can talk together. My, get, so, but I don't listen, need my lawyer, to, fuck my listen to me. He will no, not. I say fuck my lawyer. He no. will not make you a promise until he's heard the whole truth and had a chance to look at it and decide if you're bullshitting him or not. Okay, okay. but how about this though? That's a fact. How about this? Okay, we sit in front of him. Truth come out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The whole truth come out, and at the same time, I got a lot of shit that can help me in the process. You know what I'm saying? That that's that's up to you and the attorney to discuss. Okay, I can't. I'm our attorney, same attorney. I can't. I can't. I can't make a deal with you. Okay. We don't have the power. We don't have the authority to, Michael. And if we did, then why did they say something, yo? Who? What the hell is his name, man? Um, Miz Mizrahi. Mizrahi. Yeah. What do you mean it's up to? They said when I went to courtroom, right? This is what they said. He said, um, like the first they started with the bond hearing thing, because Richard was like, um. My client, whatever, da 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 da, bond hearing. He said, that's when he said, well, it's up to the detectives. He said, the detectives got to put in an affidavit or uh, evidence that's evident. Or I don't know no, how no, no, that no, 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 no. technique shit is, man. I don't know how that shit no, is. No, we, we don't. But then I asked my lawyer. What were we asking for? You're asking for discovery when you were at the bond hearing? Uh, everything. Okay, the affidavit Ooh. is we have to have submitted everything to the state for them to make it available to the defense, okay? Um, they can't give you what they don't have, in other words. No, okay. I'm talking about the bond hearing and a, a deal. You know what I'm saying? Because I asked no, Richard, we, I was like, "We don't, we don't make the deal." Okay, what would happen is, is you'd have to, you'd have to tell us everything. That's why I wrote you the let us, I'm like, let's talk let us go right. look at everything and see if it's truthful or not. Okay, as yeah. best as we can determine. And sometimes we can say it definitely is. Sometimes we can say it definitely isn't. Sometimes we say, "Don't know." Sounds good. Uh, but we have to feel we're getting the whole truth. If, if we feel like we're getting bullshitted. Why, why would I cut a deal if I feel like you just give me half-truths or something good? You know what I mean? Why would I recommend to the state that they consider what you're telling us? Okay? you know, And, and that's that's all we can do is tell the state that, hey, what he's told us appears valid or so it's appears like a whole other damn story. So it's up to the state attorney? Yeah. But before he's going to say anything. But or, before or, he'll make a deal with you, I'm telling to, you right now. I know he got to go through y'all. No, he, no, he wants to hear everything first and give us a chance to go see if it's true or if you're just blowing smoke. Yeah, so, okay, I see what you're okay. saying. Y'all like the. See, because what if I say, hypothetically, okay, you tell me everything and I'll take this penalty off the table, guaranteed. But you're okay. not allowed to do that technically, though. No. That's like a lawyer. If lawyer, a lawyer says, never guarantee okay. you're going but, home. but then you tell me, you know, uh, you know, it was Hoffa and three strippers from New York to kill these people, okay? I don't know what the hell you, you're going to tell me. You ain't getting a deal until they know what's on the table. Okay, okay. You know no, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, that's how, no, nah, I worked with a, um, a detective in Berkeley County like that one time. He told me, he said, look, this is how it's going to work. You got to give me something yeah. and we'll get you out. See, they for them, no, me up. for them, is, for here, you got to give them everything. No, no, no. No, no lies, no withholding, and like then that. they'll work with it. I'm talking about them. He told me, he was like, give me something. They came and got me. I gave him something. They got me a bond. You know what I'm saying? And then I helped him. And then I worked with him from there. The same. The same. Michael, remove the word bond from your You're never no, going to get this bond. This was probation, yeah. man. Okay. This was a probation. The, the, the only thing here is, you know, that the, the only options they have right now is to look. If they feel you're giving full, truthful disclosure, then they may be inclined to to do something with him. We can't make like that lesser charge or something. I don't know. It's not up to us. Cause okay. see like the whole murder chain is like you got to actually kill somebody to be charged with murder, right? No, well, no. How does that work? That's what I need to know. How does that work? How am I being charged? It's called, it's called you and I go into a convenience store to do a lick. You get pissed off and shoot and kill the convenience store clerk. And you and I, we, we, we both held we both held responsible for the state of Florida. Florida. But what if the video shows that I that didn't shoot? Matter. I was like, oh. Doesn't matter. It's called felony murder rule. So yeah. how, how, then nothing can help me then. Intent can help you. There's a difference between a felony murder and a first degree premeditated murder. Oh, I get what you're saying. I got the show where I ain't had no planning in killing these fucking people and shit like that. And didn't oh. didn't didn't hold the shovel, didn't didn't do anything else. Check the fingerprints. Y'all say y'all got the shovel it's been fingerprint the shit out them motherfuckers. Oh man. Oh, oh man. Alright, check it out, right? Um so we gotta start from day one. Yeah, I mean, we we need to start at the beginning, and you know, that that that's just the way it goes. All right, check this out. So, like I say, I come out, you know, give y'all whatever, you know what I'm saying, and then, like I say, a bunch more shit, you know what I'm saying, that can help that state attorney. Do, I'm talking about it. Do you want to do you want to talk to your lawyer about that, or do you just want us to talk to the state Look, attorney and come back and meet with you again? This is this is off the record, right? I'm talking about between me and you. This is this is the deal. My parents told me, my, the way my grandma said, she said, look, 
you got to do the right thing. My grandma told me straight up, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's a fucking life at stake, you know what I'm saying? So, straight up. They, she's handling everything with the lawyers, like I said, with this whole shit with dude, Bill Shepard, whatever the fuck that is. But I, t- I told Nancy, Nancy, the um, paralegal for Richard, I said, we ain't doing but a seeking co-counsel. You know what I'm saying? We just, I want to get a, I want a, a motion of discovery. I want all this shit so I can, let me see what's in he's front got, of me. He's no, got I want to see what's in front of me so he I can. He doesn't have any lab tests. None of that's done. No, he told me, he's the one that told me that y'all was coming to get all that. But, um, so like I said, and we can all sit in front of the state attorney. I don't need, I don't necessarily need my At this point, at this point, Mark, the state attorney is going to say, Tell me what you know. Tell me what you know. That's, that's what I'm saying. I if, know If all you that. want us to arrange that, we can do that. Listen to what I'm saying. I know that. You know, I, I'm totally, I totally understand that. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, I don't. Can I have my lawyer? There? You could. Yeah, hey, but see, you can play that to you. Don't answer that. Yo, don't answer that. But at the same time, you, you can do whatever you want. Today. I'm not. You do whatever you want. You said, you said, you said. Aside from this, you, you could know a whole bunch of other shit, a whole bunch of other shit. Gang of shit. Like what? Man, look at like I said. How serious the stuff we're talking about? What Murder, drug, all kind of shit. I'm talking about elite, right there in front of you. Not no, oh, go here tomorrow. Um, at, nah, no bullshit. Like I'm talking about some serious shit, some real straight up shit. Like I said, look up, look up the murder in Blanding that happened with the expedition. The dude, he, he the dude ain't died. He took him to the hospital, but he didn't die. But the other motherfucker got away. I know where he at right now. I said, look, that. I think it was Clay County and some shit. I don't know how the whole border shit. I know everything in Jacksonville. That, like I said, I know what gang of drugs is right. Now. I'm talking about keys are dope. Keys are dope. No bullshit. I'm not going to sit there, like I said, fuck the stories, fuck this, this is my life. You know what I'm saying? You got to do something. If I ain't going to get a bond, I at least got to get, you know, fuck that life shit. You know what I'm saying? Something. Ooh, I got to get enough, man, where... I, I'll tell you what our state attorney is going to want to know. Okay? Would he be interested in the other stuff? Be, you know, yeah, but he's going to want to know about this case. If full if disclosure on ta- this case. That's what it takes. Then okay. What's up? Hey, I mean, I, I'll be honest. Sure, I, I would love to hear the rest of this. Check it out. But I ain't nearly as interested in that as I am in the details on this yeah, case. Yeah, because that's, this is y'all's job. I got full notepads. I can fill them. I ain't gonna say I can fill them, but... Man, I got the show, man. So, I mean... You wanna think about it? Write us another note? Nah, it ain't that. I mean, I know I can write you. What I'm saying is like this. From day... I mean, I'm talking about... I'm gonna go from... The time the fucker called me... From there to the day y'all arrested me, you know what I'm saying? Simple yeah, like that. You know that's pretty much it. Now this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have this shit in front of me, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Da 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 da. And like I said, if I can sit in front of the state attorney, then you know, like I said, you said then right there, he said he's got to hear it. You know what I'm saying? But then we work out something. So you can start from when? From when he called you? From the time Alan called me. From the time he was like, "Look, here's the deal. I got something." You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't gonna lie, that's it. That's how the whole shit started. I chilled out with Alan, spending the damn 14000 Alan went his way. Me and Tiffany came back here, and like I said... Oh, back to Florida or back to Charleston? Back to okay. Not back here. Back to Charleston. Okay. That's when it was... How did how did Alan know to find these people? Alan didn't know to find these people. Tiffany knew to find okay. these people. Okay, so then how'd he call you to say, check this out? How the, whole, how the whole shit even came about, man, was damn... We stayed the night at them people's house. We, Me and Tiffany came down here to visit Alan. You know what I'm saying? This is before I even got my money. Matter of fact, was it... Yeah, hell yeah, it was before I even got my money. Came down here, and Tiffany was like, well, um, I know some people down here we can stay with. You know what I'm saying? Just to, you know, sleep real quick. And because we, we visited Allen, but we didn't, we could no hotel, some other bullshit, because her card, some bullshit with her fucking card, I don't remember. And then, um, that's when she called that lady up. We spent the night there. And then, um, next day, we was gone. You know what Is that mean? when the smart card got missing? Tell us the truth about that. Come on now. I would say I was was missing out of there. She she (laughs) called, right? I remember because Tiffany called me. She was like, did you take a fucking satellite card or some type of bullshit out of of that fucking thing? You lied to her and told her no. No, no. I ain't taking no. Nah, nah. For what? I don't even have a house. What the fuck I'm going to need a satellite card for? Who knows? An opportunity to sell it to somebody. Nah, I ain't no damn crackhead type shit, nah. You want to make money. If you're going to get money, get money. Nah, damn. um, It's like, like I said, pretty much... How long before we visited them people one more time? It wasn't even one more time. We really, really just came back down here. I was chilling out with Alan again. And then, like I said, we went over there. Matter of fact, because I left a fucking bag in her fucking house. That's how this shit happened. I left a fucking Nike bag in her house. And that's when the lady was like, well, the card was missing or some shit. And I was like, oh, man, they trying to say we stole a fucking satellite. 
I was like, no, man. I went in there and I'm going through the lady shit while she's right there, you know, fucking searching behind a little dresser and shit. I'm like, man, that shit ain't here, man. And then that was the last time I seen them people. Tell me the truth. Is that when you saw the bank account statements? No, nah, the bank account statements, like I said, that shit came because Tiffany knew that's when supposedly the lady who sold with some condo or some house or some shit like that for $99,000 or some shit like that. And that's when I was, oh, okay. But then again, that, in my mind, it's like, okay, to get away with something, man, it, you can't just, you know, run up in there, run out. That's the dumbest thing in the fucking world to do. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to get money, you know what I'm saying? If you ask... If you want to get money, money, not ten dollars, not a hundred dollars, you know what I'm Big saying? Money. That shit has got to be planned. That shit's got to be done right. You know what I'm saying? You can't just whatever. You know what I'm this saying? was pretty damn close. It was pretty damn close. Well, yeah. I'm telling you, this was close. Oh shit! Fuck the greed. Greed gotcha. It wasn't about greed. It was about greed, man. Come on, no, no, man. No, no. Check me out. It was ATM card stupidity. don't work. The ATM card don't want to turn that bitch on. You tap it five times for a thousand dollars. Bam, 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 bam. Two hundred a pop. Yeah, because you couldn't draw as more than twenty dollars. As time. fast as you could, you popped it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That, that's greed, okay? Because if it wasn't about greed, you'd have just taken 200 and then when you spent it, you'd have gone back and got another no, 200 No, because man. if you know the card was off, you got to get it before the card turns off again. That ain't greed. That's just being, let me go ahead and get this shit before they turn it off again, and then I'm stuck. You know what I'm saying? That's what that was about. That's like, that's like I'm How not How many going times? Is it to... five times? Yeah, because you can only get 200 out of the time. Now, how many different banks? Well, like, More than I could count, man. man. I hit, I hit, man, I... But see, like I said, a lot of them, because I remember when y'all asked me, y'all said, did I ever use it in Georgia? I never took money out of the thing. You tried I, to I, it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I I, meant, I I thought about it. I was like, why the fuck did he say that? But I remember I never took money out of it. But yeah, I went to the gas. Because we watched you. I took the, ga- <laughs> the gas. That's why we asked you. We just wanted to see if you were going to try and lie to us or not. But I never took money out of it, though. That's what that's what I thought you meant. Like, did you use it in Georgia? Did you ever take money out of the shit in Georgia? No, I ain't going to bullshit. If I want to know if you got money in Georgia, Michael, I'd ask you, did you get money? From the card when you were in Georgia. Yeah, you gotta figure I'm coming from. I don't know what's going on right now, man. Well, well I know you're gonna give me as little as you can to yeah, find out what situation shit. you're in. And uh, but see, that's what I'm saying. We're just confirming. I don't even know what kind of world of shit. I mean, I know I'm in a world of shit, but it's like, man, I'm in a lot of shit that I shouldn't be. Okay, yeah, you know, I know I didn't. I yeah. fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But at the Big same time. time, like you said, you said the shit was close, and the shit fucked up because of them dumb ass, them, them people's stupidity, man. You know what I'm saying? First of all. I wouldn't have killed no fucking body, man. You could have got all that money without killing anybody. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a dirty scam. Something. Who? You ain't even got to scam them. Man. Ooh. Man, I'd have got all that money without killing nobody, man. <laughs> shit was easy as fuck. You ain't even got to scam no person like that. That shit fucked me up. That shit's still fucked, man. Well, you, you, you start writing, and we'll come see you in a week or so. Nah, I'm saying this is what I'll do. Um... Like you said, do whatever you can with um. I'm supposed to call my grandma tomorrow. Okay. Not tomorrow. When um. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah, I'm calling the Thursday. I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna tell her like, look, I just talked to her. Cause I told her I like, look, I wrote him. I'm gonna go talk to him. Cause you know, cause my lawyer was like, why are you talking to the police? I'm like, oh man, look at you. I got them. You ain't helping me. I mean, work with me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do something. I can shoot. So anyway, damn, I'm gonna call her. I'm like, look, you need to come down here. You know what I'm saying? And. I guess I'm gonna talk to her. And we go How much? There. What's your grandma gonna do to try to get Bo Shepherd? What is she willing to do? What? Spend? Sell her house? Two hundred fifty thousand. She gonna sell her house? Nah, man. They ain't broke. Let me put it that way. Yeah, yeah. My grandfather went over to Egypt and Alexandria and shit. Supposedly when all that nine eleven shit, Alexandria bought two naval ships. That fucker was making damn near a million a year, but he had to stay over there three hundred forty eight days for it to be tax exempt or some shit. Them fuckers got paid now. They got paid as shit for the day the past four years. Since 2001, they got paid. You you got a very good attorney. No, Richard, no, I said I wanted cold counsel. But at the same time, okay, I'm in here for capital murder charge. Spent eight months. I don't have one piece of paper. You ain't been to see. I've seen y'all more than I've seen my lawyer, man. Come on. We're friendly people. But you see what I'm, you understand what I'm getting at, though? Yeah. Okay, yeah, no doubt. They did Richard's background check. Richard, good as a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time... Come on, man. I've seen y'all more than I've seen my lawyer, man. Oh, come see me. Oh, I'll be in there next week to see you. Man, I ain't seen you yet. Oh, yeah, man. Um, just give me a copy of something. You know what I'm saying? Let me see what's going on, man. All I, all I got is an indictment. Because anybody can get we, off the computer. We gave you that, I think. Somebody mailed it to, they, somebody mailed it to South Carolina. and it, 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 Yeah. We did. 
But like I said, I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write everything I need to write. I'm gonna talk to her Thursday. I'm gonna tell her to come down here. And, um, tell her to come talk to us if she wants to come talk to us. Yo. I got no problem with that. What's but her name? I can't get a visit. No, I'm on restriction. What, what's her name? I shouldn't even be at Dimples. I shouldn't even be on restriction. Dimples, is that her first name or last name? Dimples and Abnett. What? Dimples and Abnett. Dimples and Abnett. And Abnett. I N A B I N E T. Abnett. That's a real name. But now I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to tell her. I'm like, oh, man, we true, man. We got to do something, man. I don't know what I got to do, but I'm going to do something. But like we said, you know, I mean, we're, we're interested in the whole truth. So we'll talk to the state attorney and tell them we've talked. Uh, Just tell them, look, it's as simple as this. I'm willing to do whatever, you know what I'm saying, it takes to get me out of it. And I ain't going to say, I want to do whatever it takes to get this murder shit going, man. I ain't kill nobody, man. I'm willing to help, work, help, talk, do anything. I ain't kill nobody. I'm not trying. The credit card, yeah, burn me for that. You know what I'm saying? I did that. Kidnapping? I ain't kidnapping no people. Ooh, I ain't touching no people. I ain't too, man. Yeah, but you were with them when they did it. I mean, put who, man? Yeah. You're with them when they did it. But what man. is what is with them though? What is that? I mean, following you're in the car, car following them. Okay. <laughs> yeah. now, I mean, that, that pretty much kind of sucks. But there you are. Okay. You're following yeah, them in the car. Three, three, you're talking to them on the next tail while you're doing that. You ever consider that? Uh, next tail. So hold on, hold on. The boost. Excuse me. The but you the said boost um, power boost. No, that's you, it's the old the boost phones. The prepaid next tails. But you said um. So is there like a specific time these people were supposed to be killed and all this other shit? Or I mean, you tell me. But check this out. This is what I'm saying though. What if I got? Am I going to give you enough information to go create? I don't want evidence. I don't want no evidence. This is what I'm asking you though. What if I got proof? You know what I'm saying? Not no story. Not no fiction. Proof. That when these people were being killed, I wasn't there. If you have I'm proof, talking actual proof. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, if you have actual proof, then you're the dumbest motherfucker I've ever met in my life to withhold that from us to show that you were somewhere else. You're not hearing what I'm saying, man. It's not that simple, man. It is that simple. This your life in the balance, isn't it? You have proof you're not there. I ain't sitting on that shit. That would have come out but the I'm first saying, night. That'd have been. That'd have been. This is. This is where I Here, was. This is where I was. Go check that. Go check that person. Check that person. Here's their phone number. Here's yeah. how you can find them. Believe me, it ain't that simple. It's always that simple. No, it's not. Trust me, man. It's it's not. It might be in Florida, but trust me, it's not. But guess Listen, what? You're in Florida, man. Saying. This is all I'm saying. If I can get if I can get you proof, not like I said, not no story, not no person coming in to say, oh yeah, he was with me. No, no, no bullshit. I'm talking about actual proof. When these people were supposed to be being buried now, I was here. I wasn't there. That'll help me? I'm talking about like... Where's here? Where's there? What do you mean? Where were you? If they in Georgia getting buried, okay. and I got proof, at that time, I wasn't nowhere near that shit. Where were you? Know you? Saying? Man, look at I wasn't, you. You can't even tell me. So, I mean, I think you're full of shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I understand what it looks like, but I'm just saying, though, that'll help me, right? How many? Look, we've we've danced this dance about a half dozen times right now, and every time you tell me, I got some, I got some proof. What if I have proof? You ain't never giving me nothing to show that you got any proof, okay? I can bring you proof. No, my, you give me nothing. Well, my grandma comes down here, I can bring you. Well, you, 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 you tell me you're, you're at uh, Grandma Dimple's house at no, night? No, it wasn't. Nah, but you'll see though. I guarantee you though, she'll bring y'all proof. Not no statement and no confession. She'll bring y'all well, proof. I, I look forward to seeing that. And if she has proof, uh, you need to encourage her to come forward because the longer she withholds her from it us, it's not her. It's a problem. Listen, it ain't her. But then you gotta understand. Listen, it is. you gotta understand. Okay. Okay, look here. Y'all hold these, right? Yep. You know this. You know how the streets is. Okay. Alan knows me. Mm -hmm. Tiffany knows me. Bruce don't really fucking know me. Mm -hmm. If I send, if some off the wall dude comes in and talks to Alan saying it's about me. No, no, I ain't gonna say that. If somebody comes in and talk to me and said it's about Alan, but I don't know who the fuck that is, I'm gonna be looking at him like, that's a cop, man. That's the first, and it might not even be no cop, but that's the first thing that's gonna come to mind. But say Alan's mama comes in there. I know her. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna work with her. I'm gonna help her. You know what I'm saying? Look, what can we talk about? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shit like that. Believe me, if it was as simple as, Oh, go over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can get whatever you... And look at it. And you're right. Like I said, from the first night, I said, man, I was there. Man, I was holding the flashlight. Man, um, whatever else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In my, in my mind, psychologically, I'm going to be like, this motherfucker's nervous. He just told us the truth. He done been fucked up. You know what I'm saying? He vented. That's all he did. You know what I'm saying? He, he finally got that shit off his chest. That's what I'm going to think, too. Shit. Uh, like I said... You, you know what? You know what's happening right now. I don't deny that a lot of that shit I told you that first night. 
wasn't true because a lot of it was. A lot of this. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, Everything he told us that first night, okay, about being there when all this happened. I got no doubts about it, okay? No doubts at all. Because you couldn't know at that time what everybody else was telling us, okay? You couldn't know it. You weren't sitting in the room with us when we sat in there with Tiffany, okay? When my partners were sitting in with Bruce. There's no way for you to know what, do you mean, what was going on during those interviews and what they told us. Right? Excuse me. What do you mean? What, what would it you, matter what they told you? Well, how can you just make some shit up? Okay. How can you just make it up and it just happens no, 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 to no, match? I get what you're Everything saying. that they're telling you're us. saying I could have known the exact story. Exactly. My and yet, hey, look, the stories match. Okay. When y'all, it doesn't take a damn rocket scientist to said, realize that you told us the truth. You feel me? It said the people got killed a week before y'all arrested us. That gives me a whole week to find out what happened. About the only thing that you told me that night that wasn't true is your degree in abnormal psychology yeah, from NYU. Although that was a nice touch. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, you're a storyteller. You're good at it. Nah, man. I just... I just it ain't storytelling. You'd rather right? go sit your ass back in the jail than tell two detectives whose who's, who's vow is to seek the truth. I mean, you keep telling us you have this proof, but you won't give it to us, okay? You prevent me from doing my job? Hey, that's on you. Well, how does it... How does it work? You you call your lawyer. You tell him what that proof is, and he'll tell you whether or not we need to know. Tell him you're going to call and tell us and see what he says. I told my lawyer, I said, look, I got proof they can free me. Not free me, but I told him, I was like, look, I got an alibi and I got proof, man. Okay, um, I'm going to be in there and see you. I've seen y'all more well, then, than I've seen him, then man. Then give us what you got, and we'll go verify it. But I ain't told him nothing. I said, look, my well, grandma will come down here, and she will talk to you. Then call she him. She will pay you, do Take whatever you need to do. But, I mean, until you're ready to tell us the whole truth. But if I call him and tell him, again, about. look, um, this, this, and that, and the third, okay, I'll be in there to see you. Man, what? Man, Michael, no, you want man. us to go verify your alibi or check into it? Tell us what it is. If not, we're going to hook you back in chains up, take you back over to jail. We're obligated to check into it. If you say you have an alibi, we're going to go check. And what if it clears me? I get to go home? If it clears you, then you would go home. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, hold on. if it absolutely proved beyond any doubt that you were nowhere near there, had no involvement in the murder, if, you're, in, if you're eating dinner at South Beach or Miami that week, but I still. Well, you'd be in trouble for the credit card stuff. That don't go away. But you're trying to tell me what you got is clear proof that says you didn't murder anybody, weren't even around when these people were killed. Okay, well, you ain't shown it to me, you ain't giving me no proof, so pretty much uh, tough shit right now. What, a, what about, like you said, though, to the fact, just to the fact that um, after they were killed, I'm on video with these fucking people's credit card. That's fucked up. If oh, I'm yeah. a cop, if I'm a cop, okay, these two people just got killed, and this fucker's. Cleaning his bank account out. Yep. Man, okay. He sat there, there right and was now. there when he got kidnapped, run out, put in the trunk, back well, in the bag, driven before, out of Baker County and buried alive. That, that could be the definition of not having a conscience. <laughs> it ain't about a conscience. It ain't about a conscience. It's about getting yours. That's all it was about. I mean, shit, they're dead. They don't need it, right? I said, I ain't killing no damn people. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't even have attempted to kill no... It wouldn't... Mike, I'm That's telling pointless, you, okay? man. You can you can think for another couple months on what kind of story you're nah, listen, like but you I know you were there. Okay, I already know that. Now, you, this this whole other game that you're playing is is you really a waste of our time. You said all I gotta all I gotta do is write you, and we can sit in front of the state attorney as long as I give him what he needs, right? No, no, no. That's not what I said. I said we need the full yeah, y'all need truth. The, not I, not not. That's what he needs. No, 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 no. Let's not. I want to be very clear about this. Listen. I don't want you to write on a piece of paper no, what but, what you think he would like to hear that might help you, you out want, in your case. I want the full truth of everything you were there for, that you saw, who did what, who didn't do what, what roles everybody played in it, who got what stuff that was split up from them. Okay, that we recovered. Uh, the stuff that was all taken from the house, okay, and that you guys divvied up in the hotel room, man. all that stuff. You know, in the cheap hotel room you described, the budget in, when y'all shit. dumped all that stuff out in there and, and went through it, yeah. I, I, I want full disclosure, okay? I don't want bits and pieces. I don't want the part that makes you look good, okay? No, I, I want the full see. truth, okay? That's what I want, and that's what the state attorney will insist on before he even considers. And okay, and I give him all that. I give him exactly that, and like I said, stuff to the help him. And like I said, if I can show the proof that I wasn't there, then he'll work with. He'll help me. He will do everything he can to show if you weren't that ain't there. No bullshit. Now I'm talking about some. I'll get that in writing. No, you come over here Man. and tell you. Well, I work. can't make you a promise. 
Okay, but he saying, has to come over here. Now that's, that's you and what I'm him. saying. If he yeah. if he does, that's between you and him. And okay? if he gets, and like I said, he gets the whole truth. You would have to talk to him about how he wants to handle it. And, and not only would he have to look at it, he would have to evaluate it, verify he it. He got approved because you have a credibility issue. Like what I'm saying is, I can't, I can't tell you what he's going to do. Okay, what I'm saying that's not our role. It. We aren't involved in that part of it. Our goal, saying? our role he is fact finders. He proves it. Okay, he proves it, and then what? Like I said, it's up to you and him. Ooh, I'm, then what we need to do? That's what I'm ready okay. to do. Well, the first thing we need to do is Ooh. you need to stop bullshitting us on details. Okay, I'd rather have you. you call my I'd right rather now. have you look me in the face and say, I don't really want to talk about that right now because I need to evaluate some things and to try to sell me some bullshit. Story. I don't want to evaluate shit. That's what I'm trying to say. Can you call my grandma? I will give you a phone number. We can call her. Call She's her gonna up. want to be down here. Tell though. her to come down here. You say she'll be call her Thursday. Call her Thursday when you're supposed to, and call, have her come down. Okay. <laughs> Can y'all give me a visit with her? We can, we can arrange to have you let's, talk to her. Let's do it. Let's do okay. it. Let's get right. All right. Sit tight for me. Mark. Every day, or here, my yeah, state attorney, prosecutor. Yeah, dark hair, yeah, with glasses. Yeah, same guy, Mr. Mizrahi. Yeah. Michael Jackson, who was 23 at the time of the murders, was originally sentenced to death in August of 2007. But because it was not a unanimous decision by the jury, he was able to appeal and the resentencing process is apparently still ongoing. He was, however, sentenced to life for the kidnapping and the commission of a felony and 15 years for robbery with no gun or deadly weapon. Michael is still serving his time in Rayford, Florida. <laughs> 